Okay, it's still Monday, December 3rd, and we're going to go over this Ertl Dukes of Hazard set. This is a uh, replica or what have you. This was actually produced in 97, it looks like. I think they have an older version of this. But I picked it up for like $7. Uh, guy shipped the wrong thing first, uh, which took forever to get here originally. And then this took forever to get here as well. So, not real happy with the seller, but nonetheless, it, uh, it's finally arrived. So, go ahead and crack it open here. And this will complete anything due to hazard, thank God, that I'm going to get. Because I'm not even really that crazy about the show. But So, these are pretty cheap castings. I mean, these are... Uh, you know, these are same, pretty much the same casting they had out when I was a kid, I believe. But uh, it is a metal body, plastic base, plastic tire. And again, it's Ertl. Not a whole lot. I don't even think there's a steering wheel in there. Pretty nice paint job, though. Tampos, I mean, look at that. That was just a little dust, but, you know, those are actually excellent. Of course, compared to like my Johnny Lightnings, you know, not a whole lot of detail on this compared to that, but that's not why I get these. So that's the Dukes of Hazard. We'll put all these on the round table. Here's the cop car, which I just recently got that uh, six pack set. Same exact police car, looks like, uh, except it's in white. This one does have a steering wheel, but not a whole lot of detail. Let me see if that even says Hazard. Yep, it says Hazard, Hazard County. How about that? Amazing. Didn't even think it said that. I mean, obviously plastic, uh, plastic base, metal body, plastic tire. The last one, the one I really wanted, and actually this is kind of heavy. I don't know if the hood or anything open, but it's plastic base, metal body. It's a nice little detail. It does have the uh, hood and ornament there. Boss Hogs, Boss Hogs Cadillac. Not a lot of detail, kind of actually weird looking. If you notice the door, it looks like it almost opened. I mean, it doesn't, but it looks like they maybe thought about it and just, I don't know, look how far that protrudes. Kind of a weird, weird casting. Not a lot of detail. Probably be good for a custom. I'm not gonna do anything like that, but this is why I really wanted the set. It's kind of hard to find this uh, new or in good condition uh, by itself. It's like a Cadillac. So we'll go ahead and put these on the round table here. We'll start off with, uh, let me lower this a bit. We'll start off the General Lee, since that's kind of the one that uh, I've got a ton of, and we'll end it with uh, Boss Hogs car, because that is the only one I have. So, here's the General Lee. Again, not a lot of details, but the tampos are actually really, really nice. I mean, really, really nice. Nice and crisp. Tell you what, that one would be, uh, if I had a couple more of those, you could do a custom on one of those, put some different wheels on it, paint up the grill and whatnot. That would look pretty sharp, actually. Not as sharp as that Johnny Lightning. Not the first series, but the last one I did, that's pretty sharp. It's going to be hard to beat that. Look, you even got the uh, signal indicators on there. You did a pretty good job on that, actually. Yay, Ertl. So there's the General Lee. And we'll start with Roscoe's police car here. Again, uh, not a lot of detail, but the tampos are perfect. No, rough, no roughness to them or anything like that. Sometimes you see some roughness to some of the cheaper cars, but these are... Uh, Pretty good. And certainly, it's last but certainly not least, Boss Hogs Cadillac. My favorite. Those doors are pretty funky. I don't know what, uh, huh. They must have been opening at one time or something. I don't know. They're just kind of weird. Still really like that casting. I even look at the wheel well in the back. The whole thing is just kind of, hmm. Anyway, love the front grill. You know, not a lot of detail, but you could easily put quite a bit of detail on that grill, the Cadillac. Rear bumper looks just like Cadillac. Of course, you got the, the fins. Looks pretty good. Just those doors are a little funky, and obviously the, the 
the wheels, but you know. So that's it, and thank goodness we are done with anything Dukes of Hazard related. Unless Cooter's tow truck would happen to fly in my lap for like $20. And seeing as the last one went for like a hundred and some bucks, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. So you should see no more Dukes of Hazard. I just wanted to get through those, get them over with, and uh, be done with them. And I think I finally am. So, yay. Okay. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching.